Are you familiar with El Frío Pelú? Yeah, the direct translation is hairy cold. That's what us Puerto Ricans call it when it's super cold out. I'm right by my very messy sock drawer. By mi madre. Because I want to talk socks. Socks to survive a Midwest winter. So the first thing you're going to do is forget about wearing cotton socks in a real Midwest winter. These are very cute. These are my favorite. So you can wear these. You can wear these when it's not snowing. You can wear these, I would say, when you're not going to be outside for too long. I, I'll tell you about this line. This is uh, Monkey 23. It's a Puerto Rican line and I love it. And I'll put the information. I love these. These are called Como Coco. Uh, I'll put the information in the video description. These are awesome, but these are made of cotton. Cotton socks, no era. Mm -mm. Forget also about your gym socks, tampoco. Why? Because these are made of cotton. When it's really cold out and you're wearing boots, your foot will sweat. I know, it makes no sense. Your feet will get cold because cotton doesn't wick the moisture. And that's what you want. Moisture wicking socks. So you want to go for wool socks. And there are different types of wool socks. What is great about this is that you're not going to be tempted to layer your socks, which I read is really bad. You shouldn't put these socks over these little booty socks because they'll cram your toes together. That'll cause moisture, blisters. It'll really hurt your feet and that is not the point. What you want are wool socks that will keep your feet safe, healthy, and warm. So this brand is called Rightwood. Again, I'll put all these brands and links to where to buy them in the video description. But I like these because these are wool socks. They're high performance. Hikers use this. I'm not a hiker, but I walk the mean streets of Chicago in below zero weather. So I wear these when I would say it's in the 30s out there, or there's a light snow. Why? Because these are thin. They wick moisture. They keep me warm. They're nice and comfortable. They're not too tight, but they're high performance, which means that they are made so that they don't cause blisters, so they keep your feet healthy. Now, we're gonna move to the next level of sock. People swear by merino wool when it comes to keeping your feet warm, okay? Merino wool tends to be very thick. This is the thickest sock I own. This is Polar Vortex. This is below zero. This is snow boots and you're commuting or you're standing outside during stories like I do. Um, these are very warm, very thick, but they're cushiony inside. They're made of merino wool and they're from Spider, the brand Spider. They make all sorts of wool socks. These are for some heavy, serious winter weather. Uh, they're a little compression socks, okay? So they're a little tight on you. So you want to be comfortable in these. That's why when you're going to wear thick wool socks, you remember the boot video of what are the best boots to get for the uh, winter weather, for the Midwest winter? It's right here. Buy your boots half a size bigger. Kind of like how you do with your sneakers, with your tennis shoes. Buy them half a size larger than you usually wear so that you are comfortable in these socks. Your feet are safe. You don't get blisters uh, because that just adds insult to injury, okay? So there you have it. I'm gonna put all those brands and all the links in the description in my bio so that you can survive and keep your feetsies warm, dry, and healthy during a Midwest winter. Now. What do you think? What socks are your go-to? Where do you get these cheap? Because wool socks are expensive, but they're a good investment. Tell me where you find them and what is your favorite brand? Leave it in the comments and subscribe. <laughs>